ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ താങ്ക് യു അണ്ണാ can everyone see the screen yes yes we can see the screen okay, thank you anna over to ibrahim you can start the talk hello how are you uh, talk about my uh, conference and seminar now hello yeah. yes doctor are you hearing me start. hello how are you Okay uh, can I can I start it now Yeah you can start it you can start it okay, thank you. Uh this is about the Monte Virtual 22 conference and in December 9 11th and the training journey and I say hello to everybody that are here and presented in my talking and um, I uh, apologize to you a lot for delaying and bad connection because of my bad work now and uh, at least I just apologize and uh, I hope that it it's going to be well at the uh, starting of it. Slightly, can you bring my next slide, please? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. My seminar topic is for the Iran nurse Elena uh, from Iran and uh, Samoa University of Iran. Uh, this is my uh, honorable talking about you and this seminar. Uh, I hope that my all talking about Alzheimer and this disorders uh, can help to everybody to have better life because of the different disorders day and uh, because of the coronavirus uh, absolutely this uh, illness uh, going to be um, i think uh, the best ways for every um, ages uh, especially for the older and elderly and uh, i want you to hear my talking for the next slide please next slide please Alzheimer uh, in the world and Iran, we wanted to check it. The World Health Organization, WHO, considered as dementia as one of the most important uh, neurological diseases in the world. And performing a lot of countries depend on the, a lot of factors and maybe features. Completely, we must talk about different parts that now we know that a lot of people in the world have these disorders, but uh, completely and especially I've said at the start and beginning of my talking that all the people, absolutely over 85, that in our country, absolutely in our country, bad changes and bad problems of their life especially the stressful communities and stressful activities in the world didn't let them to have a lot of good positions and now 46.8 million people have dementia and the rate increases and it And 131 or 
four million around of this people in 2030 until 2050 can have this problem in different ages, absolutely, and especially the old ages. And according to estimate, until 2030, about 30 million people, and by 2050, about 45 million people around the world have this uh, influenced, attractive, maybe uh, rating, unfortunately, I'm telling unfortunately, for these parts, for uh, this disorder and disease uh, of die points. And Iran shouldn't be excluded from the uh, pointed situation and this failure early uh, tried to cause a lot of problems for our elders too and in Iran as well as the other countries we have aging population uh, cause of different problems that I've said economical problems caused that a lot of people are not uh, reducing and uh, having a lot of children and cause of this problem they are going to be in bad ages and elder and people over the ages of 60 suffering from Alzheimer's diseases uh, spent around 11.2% of their life with disability. Absolutely, because of these bad uh, maybe payments of this um, period, they couldn't um, tolerate absolutely and especially more. And uh, because of these problems, they will have other and double or triple uh, disorders uh, too at the end of their lives. Thank you. And next slide, Mister. Thanks a lot. We must tell about the, what's the dementia meaning. Dementia is an umbrella term. and the memory, judgment, personality, or visual special comprehensions severe enough to interfere with daily life and damage causes the deaths and something uh, maybe uh, disordering of the brain cells. And uh, step by step, without any attention, the person will be to be worse and getting worse. But in Iran, because of different parts, as you know, uh, in, in the third world, a lot of bodies absolutely in this uh, area in the Middle East, um, because of different tribes and different levels of people, we couldn't have uh, enough good analysis uh, because they are not in a good uh, label of uh, understanding or finding uh, maybe some orders and the mixture of a lot of orders couldn't help to distinguish or recognizing the dementia better. Okay, and next, please the slide. Dementia related illnesses. Uh, yeah, it, dementia and Alzheimer's disease, uh, the first. Uh, and multi in the in fact dementia that it's completely uh, come back to some bodies that they are not in a good location or not in good uh, not fans of their life and uh, medication imbalance alcohol or drugs uh, especially for some countries that they don't have uh, enough assistance for their bodies uh, maybe in africa or some other parts it's very important and now in very developed countries uh, unfortunately they have this problem too uh, but you know that in iran this is not the main problem because of the islamic uh, rules and alcohol uh, banning uh, won't be the first part uh, some syndromes, uh, Parkinson's disease, tumor, head injury, nutritional and environmental or the other factors and features and if it and the affects the heart, it may affect the brain too. Uh, and because of this problem, uh, and a lot of bodies that they have heart uh, disease or heart attack, they will have other parts and other disorders of the brain cells too. And uh, Unfortunately, I must tell that respectively uh, with the um, uh, maybe the masses of bodies or people, um, it has bad efficiency uh, on their uh, lives period uh, and disability of a lot of uh, maybe properties, uh, 
like as or such as the studying uh, skills or uh, maybe the movement skills. Okay, thank you. The next slide. Can you bring the next slide? Thank you so much. Prevalence of dementia. The ages, uh, absolutely 10 persons of them over 65 years and 45 persons over 85 years and 60 persons over nine years and uh, more can be uh, three uh, rated phases of uh, dementia and the phases at the beginning three five years and middle eight to 13 years and late one to three years can be normated for this illness and disorder but no cure inside this and progressive disease to to 21 years i am repeating to 21 years diagnosis of death can be affected by this uh, very mentioned illness in this world and eight to 12 years hands on uh targeting needed that it's uh, maybe be changeable by the lifestyle uh, somebody that um, they have facilities or instruments uh, more they can reach or achieve some tools they can add it for example um, somebody that they are in low qualified locations they will maybe decrease these rates thank you so much for this slide and next part this next slide you can see here two separated Please pass, please. Slide seven, excuse me. This is uh, the maybe atrophic brain that you can see the scratching of the normal and Alzheimer diseases. Here, you can compare both uh, uh, that a lot of areas of brain will be affected by uh, Alzheimer and the mental. When you know that where this be more developed, for example, at the first stages, it's going to be more, but uh, maybe at the faster or quick time. But at the middle, when the, first, uh, when the body will understand or get this problem, it's going to be more uh, slower, but uh, the last times, maybe more than 60 or more than 65, the person, uh, will have this disorder, but it hasn't been continuing to maybe decrease this problem. It was in the body, but the people didn't understand and just didn't try to help him or her. And next part, please, next slide. And in, uh, yes, and warming sign uh, or some symptoms that you can tell about this uh, illness can be profound memory loss that you can lose a part or maybe main part of your memory, misplacing things, abstract thinking, yeah, you don't love to, uh, or you are not able to try to describe or explain a lot about your part, and change in mood or behavior, yeah, you will have a lot of shaking, or maybe you can't remember your life to stop absolutely for um, the partner or some couples that they couldn't control their behavior, you will have other maybe uh, problems for their partner, absolutely for the wives, and language skills, yeah, they will have a lot of uh, bad Challenge describing on their talking, uh, a loss of an entity, maybe something that they wanted to begin uh, some talks, but they couldn't rem remember, or they will forget something easily. And disordinations of time and place, yeah. Uh, the person who had this part, uh, they will uh, easily uh, uh, forget some place or some parts that when you tell them, and they couldn't um, recognize that place or that point and poor or weak judgment. They are getting angry or will have a lot of anxiety. The personality will be really changed easily because their personality uh, don't have that capacity to change or maybe to be ca capability in some other parts and in this area. 
um, absolutely in Iran, they have this uh, item and this case more because uh, all the bodies and the people don't have uh, enough information about these uh, maybe ill bodies and Alzheimer's people. Okay, and next slide. Uh, we are talking about the north parts of Iran, absolutely in uh, Gilan province. Gilan was located at the Iran northern, and I'm talking from Lajan, uh, the one of the most important city of this area. Gilan, uh, people just speak in Gilaki, and because of this native and local language, a lot of bodies don't have this disorder because you know that uh, we have a lot of languages in this part and they are learning the language can help the people to remember or talk mostly better but somebody that they are in bilingual bodies they will have more uh, affections of this uh, area and Gilan is one of the uh, provinces that uh, I'm sure that they have less uh, maybe problem because of this Alzheimer's. But uh, um, I just researched a lot of parts and now I want to tell about some herbs and there's some parts that it has a lot of good source of uh, producing uh, some drugs or maybe some sources of good uh, symptoms for some bodies that we can change the nutritional uh, habits and cause of this. We can delete or remove this uh, problem in the future. Thanks a lot. And for the next, next slide. And this is one of the legends picture that was located in our area. And medicinal plants in Iran. We must know that Iran has one of the richest flora in the world, 7,500 7, species. It's the most, and I'm repeating, 7,500 species. Given that a significant percentage of plant species Iran is made up of medicinal plants. And I've heard that India uh, and some other countries like as the uh, East countries, China or uh, some Fili Philippines or uh, some others of like Japan or uh, some Pakistan and some other areas of Asia are using a lot uh, these good uh, sources of drug. And today, due to the side effects of chemical drugs, people approach to use herbal medicines has increased. And according to the available botanical sources of Iran, in Gilan province that I said you, there are about 1,000 plant species of which almost half of these plants are medicinal plants for consumption. And you know that Iran, because of the uh, good uh, uh, climatical uh, features and factors uh, that is so in high humidity and it has a lot of rain, it can be a very good place to uh, produce a lot of medicinal plants. Thanks. And next slide. Next slide. Thanks. Uh, the first mission event that I want to talk, and you can see a lot of good features and properties about that is Ginkgo, Ginkgo biloba. The first herb that I'm talking about that. Leaves of Ginkgo biloba tree are so important. And the, the main good golden parts that are uh, uh, that are using by a lot of bodies in China and absolutely in Philippines. And now in Iran, we are trying to add this uh, uh, maybe constitutions to our body's nutrition and uh, this thing chemical uh, maybe components and some improved blood flow uh, the absolutely for brain and heart can be very good effects of it and uh, it can protect against oxidative damage from free radicals and it has a lot of antioxidants because of this it can um, ban a lot of radicals and inhibits effects of uh, platelet uh, activating of factor or PAF. As you know that it has a lot of bad effects on some uh, um, brain problems and it can just be in our body. Thanks and next slide. Ginkgo efficacy uh, data demonstrates ginkgo leaf extracts can stabilize or improve some measures of cognitive functions and 
social functions in the patients uh, with multiple types of dementia, no direct cons uh, comparisons uh, to conventional medications for dementia was happened. And uh, mostly improved visual memory and speed of cognitive processing in non demented patients with age related memory impairments. You know that because of these uh, good effects and positive uh, maybe uh, effects of Shinko, it doesn't have a lot of hazards or dangerous effects for body, but. It has uh, minimally more than 80% uh, good efficiency or positive. Call. Thank you. And next. Please, next. The next plan is. Melissa officials. Okay, Melissa officials is also known as Lemon Bell, belong to plant family Lemiose or Lebiote. That is the, the new name of it. Uh, we have a lot of uh, maybe um, good source of uh, metabolites, secondary metabolites of this family. It was widely used as a herbal remedy to reduce stress and improve sleeping time and elevate maybe the mood of or changing the mood of the patients and it can enhance the concentration or focusing uh, potent maybe neuroscience or neuroprotective effects against toxic oxidative can be another good features of this plan and melissa Uh, some other parts that it can have bad effects on our neurons, all of, for example, these features can be the key elements of Alzheimer's management and Melissa efficiency which was found to contain the most active flavonoids and it can have a lot of good uh, effects on our brain too and extract of us, uh, for example, had and uh, maybe good activity in our uh, some body or cells that are related to our movements and a lot of liter literatures or papers um, had been focusing on this uh, plant and herbs and absolutely in Iran and especially in Gilan, we're making and producing this part as a kind of source for the patients um, after maybe uh, starting the cureness. Thank you and next slide. The third is Salvia officialis. Okay, uh, the very famous name is Sage. Sage is one of the most used plants in folk medicine. That um, may be complementary and activities, but it's found it's with anti-inflammatory, antioxidants, and anti maybe. Uh, not effective maybe uh, effects is found to exhibit uh, a lot of good effects on our dementia properties and it can reduce a lot of these uh, side of effects uh, and sage strikes was clinically tested in limited to moderate cases of alzheimer's 16 clinical trials of two salvia species uh, salvia fissionaries and salvia Lavendola folia, and that both of them are now uh, being cultured in this area and has assessed this memory and cognitive enhancement ability in the health of individuals who were assessed and analyzed, and they've had a lot of good effects too. Uh, they were so positive, but side effects of them are not so uh, maybe capable because we didn't have any good information about the uh, maybe the past literature of them that what happened, for example, in the period of maybe 10, 10 years or 20 years. 
uh, and some preparations of them were found to be effective in improvement of memory and cognitive functions. And as you know, phenolic, uh, maybe phenolic materials were found to be responsible for the majority of the observed biological effects and were suspected to have and a lot of uh, maybe acetylcholine uh, maybe inhibition activity which found in this herb. You know that because of the interface and have a good a lot of good and positive effects of this herb in uh, the maybe middle or having uh, maybe military uh, role between two reactions and biochemical reactions, it can have uh, maybe uh, future effects for some patients too. Okay, and next. And this is about ritual and their uh, maybe some shapes of them and rosemary nuts officials. Rosemary leaf extract has been suggested to enhance maybe cognition and it has a lot of good parts for our headache and treat insomnia, the development of uh, maybe some nepotine which is found in the high levels in rosemary nuts and has been tested for maybe uh, um, a lot of maybe uh, memories, but uh, absolutely for mice. Uh, Neptune uh, reverse memory in maybe impairment as the evidence through the novel objects recognition and why maize taste. Uh, Neptune uh, inhibited the activity of both acetyl and uh, butyl, maybe uh, choline trust. Moreover, Neptune binding. Sorry, was found to be the same as Don Pazil 2. And rosemary also contains high level of uh, detrepens uh, that are suggested to have antioxidants and uh, maybe some other anti uh, depressant and anti inflammatory and neuroprotective effects that they can have a lot of uh, positive effects on some uh, cured bodies that now they're trying to uh, attacking by this illness and because of the good uh, climatical conditions of this area, now we're producing a lot of this herb for uh, adding to these Alzheimer's uh, maybe patients. Thank you. And next slide. This is the picture of it. And um, curcuma longa. Okay, as the name is uh, ginger or ginger brass family that is stomach problem or a lot of um, others and anti cancer that you know it's anti turmeric and are the major source of uh, curcumin which has been extensively investigated for the therapeutic efficiency of in various disorders that I've told. And potent antioxidants, anti-inflammatory and cognitive enhancements of properties in addition to its ability to break down beta amyloid placos and due to solubility issue, uh, curcumin has been integrated with the nanoparticles in order to enhance its oral bio this you know that a lot of bodies they have problems for the usage of it after using they can have a lot of swollen on their mouth or some other areas and uh, because of this harsh and they won't uh, they won't prefer to use it more and central nervous system uh, penetration, it can be affected by this herb. And in a study on TG257680 mice, uh, ev ev evaluating oral nano, uh, maybe curcumin that was affected by nano, uh, maybe gold, uh, was compared to unformulated curcumin. And also, nano curcumin had six times higher area under the curve and significantly enhanced working memory and it was done and uh, maybe um, uh, at the post 
harvested some funds that uh, after doing a lot of uh, practicing of the patients, we had reached to some very good results because uh, of the adding nanoparticles to use of this curcuma longa as a good source of the nutrition for some demantic uh, patients. And surprisingly, curcumin PLGA encapsulated nanoparticles have been found to modulate gun expressions in the um, hippocampus and activated WNT beta uh, catenin at the past phase of resulting in neurogenesis and enhanced neuronal differentiation and maybe reversal of a cognitive and memory defeats in the Alzheimer's mouth models of accurate beta amyloid exposure. As you know that um, just because of this uh, part, some bodies like as uh, uh, Philippines, uh, uh, maybe scientists had done a lot of uh, good effects of them and uh, that was carried out with our country too, but it's uh, on a way and now a lot of experience are being uh, done on it. And maybe in the future, it has a lot of good effects on some patients and we will try to uh, report it for uh, maybe the soon future. Thank you and next slide. And this is the picture of it. And Centella, maybe Asiatica, this is the next part. Centella in our area is going uh, natively and Centella has gained the attention of researchers in the last few years due to its wide range of biological effects and including anti-diabetic, antibacterial, and absolutely antiviral and cardio protective and maybe sedative and so more, found to improve uh, neural viability, reduced uh, neurotoxicity, uh, absolutely neurotoxicity that I've told that you know that a lot of drugs and medicine uh, couldn't have this uh, effect, but it, it has neurotoxicity and a lower oxidative damage of beta amylate uh, aggregates exposure and Centella water extracts CAW treatment was found to improve learning, memory, and cognitive functions in aged mice. Addition uh, enhanced mitochondrial and oxidant passphase chain expression. Uh, that I read in some countries. Uh, excuse me for having this disconnection. And, uh, and maybe some other assays were found to differentially as a mediate most of the observed uh, neuroprotective effects. And Centella treatment was able to attenuate uh, all Alzheimer's pathologies related to A, or a maybe L, LT130 exposures in these parts. It was modeled just for mice and it's going to be uh, done for the human too, but you know that it has a little hard uh, portions because of the sensitivity for humanity. And it needs a lot of more information and uh, it's because of the coronavirus. Now, the is just focusing on the vaccines and uh, the Alzheimer's problems and the experiments absolutely in our country and the universities are being delayed. And now we're waiting for um, the stopping this pandemic. Okay, and next slide. And this is the picture of it. 
and Magnolia Officinalis. Magnolia uh, was culture in our area for many years ago from Japan, and now we're one of the most uh, extended area of this plant and herb. It belongs to family of Magnoliaceae and improves uh, maybe the effects of the memory uh, institutions and it inhibits acetyl, maybe acetyl cholinesterase activity, and it's the very main important part. And Excuse me, I was. Uh, do you have my voice? Dears, do you have my voice? We can hear you, Ibrahim.
Hello. Thank you. Excuse me, I, I was disconnected. Okay, and the next question, anti-inflammatory and antioxidant activity is the, the best role and maybe the role of Alzheimer's treatment in our area. And now, uh, you know that in our country, this plant uh, wasn't done. A lot of um, carriers, maybe some uh, good traction on it. And now I think the best uh, plan to work on it for making some herbal drugs would be Magnolia. Um, but in some uh, just uh, research and proposals, it can be done with some researchers. And now I'm doing on some proposals, but it's not now uh, activated. And uh, maybe in the future it can be. And I didn't know a lot of um, good sources for doing um, some Alzheimer's drugs or medicine or practicing for uh, this not patient. Thank you. And next slide. Uh, and um, for example, about the next one, uh, for example, Glycerisa glabra in our country belongs to Fabas family and contains various bioactive compounds, which include little oxid, okay, general uh, benzoic acid, terpene, and other ones that except for that you're looking ingredients and it completely shows that maybe more than 80 persons of them can do like a and glycerin and some other acids. Uh, they have a lot of positive effects on our memory, but memory will be enhanced. Activity of this cell, it can be induced on dementia and a problem. Somebody when the co-workers and colleagues enhances memory in three dose levels, 7450 and 300 administrated to mild in seven successive days and doubled at 150 milligrams per kilogram was found effective in memory enhancement and now Okay, and uh, for next slide, please, thank you. Next slide, please. Hello. Do you have my voice? Mr. Do you have my voice now? I'm talking with you. Do you have my voice, Mr. 
Yeah, I can hear you now. Can I stop the screen share? Hello. Hello. Do you have my voice? I can hear you, Dr. Ibrahim. Doctor, do you have my voice? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Hello, hello. Do you have my voice? Yes, yes, yes. We can hear you. Hello, doctor. Do you have my voice? Hello, doctor. We can hear you. Voice, doctor. have my voice yes okay i apologize you i was just disconnected a lot now the bad moments of that you've told me at eight o'clock and i was trying to provide my location for the better place but now i'm just uh, excuse me just i apologize you completely it's okay it's okay dr ibrahim so thank you for okay. the call you know any questions for dr ibrahim I think we have they some. Could, they could, they could. Yeah, there was know. a question asked, they like, do. you know, the, uh, wanted to ask you about the rosemary. So can you use the rosemary, yeah. uh, like, you know, the dried, does it have the same effect as the uh, fresh ones? Uh, first, I thank you and I appreciate your questions and because of your mention and I apologize a lot. For, you know that a lot of surgeries that was done on it, uh, it just shows that dried have better effects on the rosemary. But you know that, that the compressions of between the dried and uh, some of the fresh uh, ones, okay, uh, didn't have a lot of uh, very meaningful effects on different ages. Maybe it, it just completely uh, come back there um, how the rate of the illness was. Maybe um, the high rated illness, it doesn't have a very good and positive effects, but the low rated one, it was better. A bit, uh, comparison between the dried and fresh was not so meaningful, but between the ages was better. Maybe in the low rated ones uh, had better effects and more positive. Um, what have, I, um, like suppose if a person doesn't have uh, like you know, he's a normal person but can can it increase the cognitive function uh, yeah we can you know that uh, uh, you know that uh, the good conditions of the patients will have a lot of good influences and because of these reasons uh, we can add and increase Creates a lot of positive uh, cognitions of uh, maybe good and positive effects, but um, the comp I mean the comparison between just uh, the material of the dried and so fresh ones, okay, just this um, feature and the properties. Uh, so you uh, it should be used to fresh. You mean to say? Uh, it's it's better. Uh, it's I, better. I, I I I just said I love the Alzheimer's people to use the fresh ones, but the dried at the dried, you know that um, a lot of good institutions of that and the ingredients, okay, will be removed, and because of this, the mixture of them can have a lot of good and positive effects, but. Uh, maximally the best 
and the most positive okay effects can be uh, more influential on just low rated alzheimeric people not high rated in the low rated oh. alzheimeric people it have a very better and most positive efficiency yes but if it's cooked then will it lose its properties uh, maybe uh, more than 80 or 75 persons can be removed and uh, maybe the so then uh, it should be eaten like you know, uh, the uh, extract you know is that, better than the leaves you you know that yeah. our our uh, you know that our bad concern is the side effects of the herbal medicines yeah um, yeah because 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 we are not using the some pure uh, maybe the materials or the drugs we are using the mixture of uh, one drug or maybe some medicine okay because of this we just focusing and concentrating of the uh, nutritional usage of it after and of the patients, not um, because uh, we are not sure about the side effects of these medicines and herbs. And now this is uh, just taking the risk. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I just apologize you again too. Matu, uh, I think you. Hello. Hello, just, I'm, I'm listening to I'm, I'm, Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I had muted up. Uh, thank you for the information, doctor. Does it matter what soil the plant grows in, uh, such as the rosemary? Does it matter what, what, what area of the world or what, what kind of climate, climate that the plant grows in in order to receive benefit from it? Uh, thanks to your scientists for asking these questions, okay. Uh, you know that ros ros rosemarinus is the better uh, place to, for culturing and uh, maybe the uh, all better ingredients of them will be in the central parts of the Iran because it can congregate and uh, maybe collect more um, secondary metabolites of them too. The mixture of them can be more uh, can be more positive and effective uh, some ones that we gathered from the Iran central. But now in Iran, because of the climatical uh, portions that we are now, uh, the producing of the massive of these uh, herbs can be better. You know that uh, it uh, the ingredients of the fresh ones has more water, okay, and usage of them, these ingredients with the water for the Alzheimer's patients, okay, had better and more positive uh, effects than somebody's, yes, that somebody's that they had used just uh, one thing that was pure. When you uh, try to make it pure, uh, it's completely come back to their drugs and maybe it has some interfaces uh, for the uh, practitioners or the usual drugs that they're using for every day. But when you will add some nutritional, uh, maybe uh, material or foods, you must be care about all drugs that it doesn't have any bad or side effects too. And now we're just taking care of uh, step by step to uh, practicing uh, of the herbs as a good drug or as a good medicine. Yes. Thanks for your best and nice question. Thank you, Mata. Any more questions for Dr. Abraham? Yes, actually, I uh, have a couple of questions here, if Dr. Brian can help us. One of them is uh, a hysteric uh, question, Dr. Brahim. Some of the, uh, I'm just curious, some of the plants sounds like they got a Mongolian culture in them. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So we're talking about mm -hmm. like an ancient uh, science that keep uh, developing. As you know, as you know, uh, in Iran, uh, you, you have this information that Iran is a kind of ancient country that yep. a lot of uh, scientists from here, as you know, the Razi or the Buali Sina from our country, okay, were so famous in other maybe patients. And uh, now the people are trying to tend to this herbal medicines because of their positive actions and non-active, maybe in so negative uh, 
coordinations of uh, using a lot. And because of this um, good and positive stuff that they um, try to took this experience from their ancient uh, stories or ancient books, uh, now they're trying to change their way, okay? To use some nutritional plants that not to mix them together. Uh, they believe absolutely the people are changing this belief that they must not mix some warm uh, warm nutrition with cold nutrition and you know all the uh, parts that we're um, using um, absolutely for ms disorder it's true too that we must not use a lot of cold nutrition or cold foods okay and it's um, the um, uh, ingredients and the tent of this nutrient uh, and the historic of them are showing the people that usage of this herbal in the past, uh, maybe a generation of the people in Iran had better effects and more than um, the new and modern uh, foods that we're using now, um, instead of the uh, maybe uh, the usual precautions that we must use for our um, um, maybe gathering or some elements that we need our body. And uh, uh, you know that it's unknown and it's not very clear that which reason will cause a lot of um, these reasons and genetically maybe it, it uh, try to come back a lot of um, bad effects of the food usage of, for example, or uh, maybe using a lot of bad or applying a lot of bad um, stylish of the um, uh, food usage and something like as that. But uh, I believe, um, you know that I'm bio biochemistry um, scientists and now I'm using on the a lot of uh, reactions of them but I've uh, just reached to this goal that my achievements to use of the herbs um, had better effects on the um, some disorders absolutely for Alzheimer for MS for maybe some um, some disorders that we try to think that um, how we can understand the generation of them. But uh, now herbal plants can change the tending of the nutritional tips, not usage of, um, for example, something together or mixing together. We must care about the dosage of them. And this is our problem and issue that from many years ago until now, we didn't have any good schedule to use of these herbs, okay, and next to the usual uh, uh, maybe food or usual meals for our lunch and maybe and dinner and some other meals. And now we must make a good program or a schedule for our usage. Uh, this is an um, awful problem of our uh, maybe uh, usage of this, absolutely for our country too. And this is truth. And now I'm very glad some countries like as India, you know that in coronavirus, it showed completely that the usage of some, uh, maybe uh, this is an example, for instance, uh, pepper, I mean, uh, a user of the pepper shout that uh, their body now they are very good immune system for some virus. Uh, but uh, you know that vitamin C now it shows the better uh, effect for coronavirus too. A lot of uh, people here and patients are using, um, for example, vitamin C and some um, um, usual practicing for themselves and, and they have very good effects on them too. Uh, but uh, you know that um, um, doctors and, uh, uh, and some herbalists couldn't match their knowledge together. And they have just a lot of uh, very ancient fight together in countries too. But it must be together. And now we must get drugs um, maybe generated by both of them, um, not maybe interfacing to doctors and not trying to uh, maybe blaming that we know all things and we must not hear to other parts. I believe to me must hear and must listen to all parts, all people, all maybe talkings and try to solve the problem, not fighting with um, our beliefs. This is my idea, but uh, I just respect to your talking to everything. Thank you for your answer. Uh, I hope you. I hope you got my uh, meaning that what I said you. Uh, I I I know where you're coming from. I, I feel okay. yes. Thank you. Uh, so the the my uh, second question is um, regarding the cognitive uh, development. I mean, according to the uh, I understand the, there has been. Uh, 
medical trials which uh, has been yeah. carried out in this area. How, yeah. first of all, do they, do, what's the inclusion criteria in terms of the sever severity of the uh, uh, dementia or Alzheimer? And second, do, do they have a policy and procedure in measuring the enhancement of the cognitive? Uh, can I start my answer? And now yes, please. Okay. Uh, thank you for your second questions. Uh, as you know, and you, you've seen in my uh, conference and the slides, okay, in some uh, literature and papers, try to uh, uh, maybe separate uh, this dementia or some levels of it, okay, by the age, maybe from 8 to 20, maybe 7 to 20, 7 to 21, and the ages maybe between uh, maybe 40 to 60 and 60 to 80 and more than 80 or 85 and over. Uh, because of this uh, rating, okay, I think the best uh, parts of the schedule programming for these parts is it means that how the rate of this uh, disorder, okay, was increasing and trying to growing up. Maybe it depends on some that they're doing some when i've done this research i found that the place that i'm here uh, the native language is gilaki and not persian but persian is our formal language okay but but a lot of countries didn't know that iran has more than Kurdish, Lurie, and Eleni, and Turkmen as well. And Um, hello, can I touch? Yes, we can hear you. Uh, excuse me. Yes, uh, I apologize you because that uh, I've said I'm in bad points uh, near near the mountain, and now we have a lot of disconnection. Thanks a lot for uh, tolerating me. Maybe it, it, it's, it's tolerating happened, Brian. Believe me, to every one of us, every now and then. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. Maybe to, I apologize. I apologize you completely. I'm just disrupting all of your conference. Uh, 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 I'm just uh, answering my questions that uh, you told me. I, I was telling, uh, excuse me, Mister. Uh, can I uh, can I answer your questions? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Please, I'm, 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 I'm very keen. Yes. Can I answer your, uh, your question? Yes. yes, please. Can I answer the questions, Mr. Yes, please. Can I answer my questions? Because it's okay. A lot of places and areas in our countries, okay, they are, yeah, they are using a lot of languages, like it's like it has. Oh, dear. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> I think he joined again, yeah. I'm, 
I'm afraid there was more important questions and inquiry than the one that I asked. Hope uh, the connection will get back soon. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes. Yes, yes, we do. Can you hear us? Mr. Are you hearing me? Yes, we do. Dear Doctor, hello, how are you? Uh, do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes, now we do. I don't know. I just invite, for example, to stay here and uh, I want to compensate for you because of this delay. This a lot of uh, our uh, for example, country, you know that a stress, a lot of, for example, pressure, heart pressure, blood pressure, and uh, something like as that, we must not try to defend some drugs or some medicine or absolutely for chemical medicine that they are, uh, they are not working as well because they have a lot of effects and side effects of that. In the usual parts, uh, how it means, I'm just telling about the herbal medicines to the normal and standardized, for example, uh, condition, not for uh, maybe some parts that we are being the patients. We must first analyze that which patients, which uh, condition they have. Did I tell you that what I'm meaning? Uh, um, some, some research researchers didn't pay attention, um, for example, to their condition or the positions of the patients. Just they said that how rate are you? For example, the first rate, the middle rate, or the uh, first people that, um, for example, which food are you using? Uh, for example, how many times are you sleeping? For example, or um, um, why you're sad, why you uh, have, for example, this happiness? Because of this, uh, for example, unknown condition, we, we cannot have very good assessments. I, I mean, herbal medicine can be effective, but in for example, or normal condition, uh, information about them or about their, maybe uh, the passage of their uh, ages. Maybe somebody they will uh, they will um, uh, have a lot of bad problems that they couldn't solve. Their minds, okay, and after. Um, um, having this Alzheimer dementia, they are just a tassel or some chemical medicines won't going to be get, getting worse and getting worse again. Her or his problem, you will be better or you will.
So, Dr. Mati, with your permission, if you have any doubts to regarding Ibrahim, so we can, you can we can drop drop a line to the mail lady mentioned in the chat box, right? No, I think what I heard was fair enough. Okay, okay, okay. No worries. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions, Dr. Shilpa? No, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I think Dr. Ibrahim has severe network issues, right? Okay. Do we have any more speakers right now or? No Shilpa, no Shilpa, we are, that's it. We're done? We are done, we are done. Just we are closing, we are not closing out for the day one. Okay. okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, Dr. Majid, can we close for the day, if you don't mind? Yeah, of course, why would mind? Yeah, I can't wait to go and uh, have my dinner. Thank you so much all again. It was an interesting day. Uh, it was a pleasure. Uh, and as I said before, I have learned a lot and uh, uh, we, we just, you know, uh, always thirsty for more uh, information and knowledge. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Dr. Majid. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Shilpa. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Uh, thank you each and everyone who have been part of our webinar on day one. Hope you will be participating on day two also. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye.